Well, hello guys, welcome to episode 85 of this Scotney Till I Die save, the save where we're trying to take the tiny club of Gotney IF from the very bottom of Swedish football in the game to the very top. Uh, as you can see, we're not quite the very top, uh, and we have one game left of the season, uh, but we're as bloody close as we could be. We are trying to finish in the highest position. Well, we are guaranteed actually to finish in the highest position we've ever managed to do in our past. We've we've done very, very well in the last few games. But we have a real chance today of finishing second ahead of Nor Coping, which would be a massive achievement for this tiny club. And that is what the board set out. I didn't think it was going to be possible, but Nor Coping kind of let it happen. Uh, we'll have a little look at their... their um, schedule recently and you can see they have absolutely you know shit the bed as it were they've lost a lot of games and today the, the they, they are going up against AIK away AIK have lost one game and they've now they've won every single game at home so it's we, we look in a fairly good position um, let's have a look through the schedule since you were last with us which was against Elfsburg so we followed up that very nice victory against Dijia 4 away from home. Henningsen, uh, Paul and Forsblom got the goals. 4-0 uh, win. So then we played Jona Köping Sudra at home. 3-1 uh, win. Uh, we were 3-0 up. Uh, Unzergang and Krebs with the goals. Uh, then this was the really impressive result. Nor Köping away from home. We kind of started their poor run. Uh, Kanstrup, uh, Venestrum and Krebs with our goals. Uh, we looked really, really good. Then we had a really tough game away against Bajiktas. We started well. We got a goal from Henningsen. Uh, but didn't quite do enough to finish it off. Uh, we had a player sent off and we lost, uh, We well, we, we drew one all. But a 1-1 one -one draw away at Bajiktas, I think, is a decent result. So we then had a little bit of a break, had a friendly in there, and then we played away at Kalmar. Kalmar, a decent side. Uh, beat them 2-1 in the end. Uh, Kanstrup and Krebs, so that was pretty good. Then we had probably the hardest game we've had. Uh, we played Everton, lost 1-0 against them. They scored a cracking goal, just completely blitzed our defence. But we played well, actually. And, and all of this together makes me think we, we probably are going to qualify from the group. Probably not first. Uh, and then we've played Dirge Gardens at uh, home for one win. That that guaranteed that we would finish ahead of them, which was important. Camp, Henningsen and Krebs with the goals. And we've just beaten Hammerby 4-1 at home. Uh, Venestrom, Kanstrup, Halberg and Krebs. Then we're coming to this game away at Hacken, which is going to be a really hard game. They're fourth in the league, but look how things are. No one can catch up with us other than Nor Coping. That's the only team that can do that. Uh, but Nor Coping are playing away against AIK. We're playing away against Hacken. What's going to happen? I mean, I'm hoping two losses will be enough to do it. Uh, as you can see, AIK have been utterly outstanding this season. Just one loss, three draws. No, we, we couldn't get anywhere near that. Um, they they have been they have been awesome. So we'll see we'll see what happens.
Bloody hell. <sighs> right then, so we've got a damn good chance of actually finishing second, which is uh, fairly shocking considering how we started. But, you know, we had a very, very... We've had two finals in this, this season. Um, we've got a chance of qualifying from the group which which will be good i think we're still in the balance a little bit but one win one draw one loss we're still in second we're playing everton at home and that's going to be important but today it's all about hacken and uh, what we can do against hacken who are now a good side um we don't beat them away from home that often as you can see this is our games against hacken away from home you can see most of the time, although we have recently got some reasonable results over them, but often it's uh, often we lose. In fact, most of the time we're losing away from home against them. So we'll see what we can do, but it may not matter. It may not matter. A draw is enough, I think, because of our really good goal difference at the minute. You look at this, 34 goal difference. We played really good, but... AIK are 20 points ahead, which kind of sums it all up, really. Okay, let's let's do this thing. Uh, there's going to be some changes uh, after this season. Obviously, we know that um, one or two people are leaving. Uh, Paul is still here. Uh, he has postponed his retirement twice, and he'll be here until the end of November just to be part of this. Um, so that's that's really good. Moller is doesn't have to play He's knackered after the last game. So Simpson's back in there, uh, which is good. And Nagash will be leaving, and Simpson will be leaving. So there's a, there's some changes uh, within the side. The other important thing, which I forgot to mention, which is you know beyond all of this stuff, really, um, we have managed to extend the loan of Canstrup. Yeah, 28 gold, Mr. Canstrup. Yeah, oh, it's brilliant that. Well, Twenty goals. Why? Why is he it's twenty-eight goals? I don't get it. Um, but he has been brilliant, and also Boshi. Uh, he's got a season extension on his loan with us as well. So that both of those things are awesome. So this is the team we're going with. We've got Krebs and Canstrup up top. Henningsen on the right. Forsblum on the left. Uh, Camp is not in the in, in the uh, squad altogether. Samare is just ahead of Tinnerholm. Uh, Steinerson, Svensson, Vinerstrom, and Nielsen across the back with Benedictson in goal. So let's see what we can do here. We have been awesome. I have to say, really pleased with the way we're playing. We, we, we're having a lot of possession in matches. I've taken on board some of the comments that I've had in the past, uh, particularly from Aussie Villain, about not being too reliant on shoot on sight and actually been a little bit kind of, you know, playing it now and again. Uh, rather than doing it all the time as working brilliantly. We're also trying to play a little bit wider than we used to and that also has uh, has improved things. But this is going to be a really, really hard game. Um, can we can we do something against Hacken, who are one of the best sides in the league? We've played a lot of away games today against uh, in this season against the better teams. Uh, can... Wow, that was a decent shot. We've had some corkers. I'm not showing you the goals, but we've had some of the best goals I think I've seen scored. I think one thing I, I don't think I've mentioned is that, um, or Sunberg's in the in the book, he's off. Nice, uh, we'll take that. It is that last time, uh, our, our highest um, number of wins in, in the top division last uh, up until now was 15. We've done that about three seasons on the trot. We've now got 18, which is pretty damn good. So we, we've really made a big difference to, um, we've, we've improved is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> Henningsen, you know he's gonna shoot, you know he's gonna do badly. He's, he's you know, you know exactly what you've got with Henningsen, unfortunately. Um, or fortunately, as, as the case may be. Ball through. Henningsen, you're going to pass it, mate. You did. You did. And eventually, it just goes wide. Oh, I thought we had it. I thought we had it. Looks like AIK are still... Um, they're not winning, but they're not losing. So we are playing better against uh, than Hacken here. Uh, it helps to be one additional player on the pitch. Vanastrom, Tinnerholm, 
who's been brilliant. Forsblom, come on, come on, man. Not quite. Back into Forsblom, and again it's out. Henningsen. Oh, I thought that was it. If he scored that, I'd have just just given up. I mean, he would just be the complete the international man of mystery there, wouldn't he? Uh, right, we got the ball back again. We're doing all right here. Venestrom back into Svensson. Uh, Henningsen, you're not going to shoot, are you, mate? You are, aren't you? <laughs> just, just give up now, mate. Give it up. Oh, good God. Right. Samari into Tinnerholm. Just don't pass it to him. That's that's the plan now. Samari. Steinerson. That's no. Yes. No, it is him. Tinnerholm. Passing it around. Forsblum. Who's done really well this season, I have to say. And they've managed to clear the ball you know they've got a chance of getting out of this no they haven't though Svensson's picked it up Steinerson into Samara quick passing Forsblum ball in and Henningsen's managed to get onto it and it's a low shot into uh, or low cross into Krebs and he his shot is just pushed wide brilliant goalkeeping so far from the uh, uh, the um, hack and goalkeeper been pleased pleased so far with how we've played we've looked very very good going forward I just want AIK to score a goal basically but as things stand we we, we are going to be um, what's going on here yeah as things stand we are it's over the top we, we we would be second I mean I don't know quite what the difference I think this is a Euro Cup position particularly as AIK won the cup so um, it's nil-nil in both of the matches that matter at the bottom of the table uh, it looks like Helsingsburg and Deja Forza down Urubru are in that horrible spot the playoffs um, hopefully they'll do all right and stay out of the uh, stay out of the playoffs um, or at least don't go down we don't want Urubru to go down we don't do that we love our brew. Krebs. Ball in. Who's it going to be in from? That looks offside. Forsblum. Oh my lord. What are you doing, man? It's in eventually. Henningsen with the goal. Who would believe it? Who would believe he can even shoot in the direction he's pointing his foot? But he has managed that. And he's actually scored 11 goals this season. Despite all the crap he gets from me. He's not the worst player in the world. Uh, Nielsen's going to come on. We're going to put Boshi on um, for the last half an hour. He is a great player. A really, really great player. But uh, chance down the other end. Oh, my Lord. The ball is flicked on into Barroso. And it is one all from absolutely nowhere. They've had nothing all game. And they are back in the game. Well, that keeps it interesting, doesn't it? Looks like AOK are still not doing anything with nor coping. Oh, it's over the top. Come on, boys. Ah, oh, nuts. Well, we're going to bring on Paul. See what we can do with that. Imagine if he got the winning goal. Ah, the, the, the celebrations. Oh, no. There we go. It's happened. Nor coping are behind. But we've got a chance in. 91 minutes in. Natumba, you know him. We've managed to pick the ball up. We've picked their pockets. Venestrom to Svensson. Svensson wide into Forsblom. He's not managed to beat his man, but Steinerson's got it. Oh, you twat. <laughs> if you can't play that pass, you don't deserve to live. Svensson, back. we've managed to win it back. So, uh, you know, I'll retract that comment. Samare, you know what he's got. Henningsen, is he going to shoot? Is he going to do something stupid? Oh, he is, of course. No, he's coming off. That is, that's it. I've had enough. I've had enough. How many times? How many times have I had enough of this guy? Oh, my Lord. I mean, he just doesn't, doesn't understand what the word pass means. I mean, he's so effective at running with the ball. But still, how can you be this bad? <laughs> You've got to understand that there are 10 other people on the pitch trying to score in the same goal as you, man. Don't do not do that all the time. 
<laughs> it doesn't make any sense. You utter cretin. Right, well. well I thought we were going to win that, but we failed. Uh, but we've we've got it back. 94 minutes and that's it. That's it. It's a one-all draw. It's a good good draw away at Hacken. It was never going to be easy. We did get an easy sort of chance in that we were one we were against 10 men we played much better than them look at the um look at the uh the stats there 14 shots on target just didn't quite get it done but um we have done the business we finished second in the league that is what we were trying to do which is a massive result for us um 59 points which i think is the best we've ever achieved uh eight i mean AIK have been awesome this year and you know it's hard to, to know what to do against that um, they've got I mean they're playing like a load of youngsters but still still it doesn't matter does it they're just very good right then so we've qualified for really Champions League? Really? How's that? That's not that's that must be new. We are in the Champions Bloody League next season. <laughs> Who would have thought that? Uh, I guess we come in at the very early stage. Uh, we've got a transfer budget of four point one million pounds. <laughs> oh my god. Um, and 2.76 million for finishing in second that is massive absolutely bloody massive look at this we got seven bloody million in the bank it is awesome the other thing i forgot to tell you from from last time because i think last time i was saying that we were getting the youth uh, facilities improved or well, we've we've had our <laughs> youth youth intake yeah it's not been good not being kind to us yet again this was one of this was the top youth prospect and what are you doing with that what are you doing with that it's a, a defensive midfielder all he can do is tackle that's it you know he might as well just be a defender although you can't head it or anything else he's got no positioning but yeah some point in the future somebody is going to come through who can play football and that day will be a glorious day yes what i was trying to say is we are also improving the training facilities as well so that will that will go up from uh I think below average probably to average so that that's going to improve things for the for the main team but it's been a good year um we've got a massive amount of wages to play with next season we've got we've got canstrup and we've got the the right back as well who will be here next season we've surely got a chance to win this next year i, I hope so i hope so if you have enjoyed that please hit the like button please subscribe if you are new uh, on the cusp of fm21 this as i said in the last video will continue into fm21 i want to see how we do i want to see how things go it will probably go into a end of season review type videos but i'm, I'm going to continue to say i hope you enjoyed it goodbye <laughs>